Hello and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Badminton Unlimited in the next 30 minutes. Akhirnya game 2119 itu yang rasanya wah kayak akhirnya gitu loh. Indonesia's mixed doubles tandem Pravin Jordan and Melati Daeva Octavianti recount hitting their stride in 2019. Someone has requested me to give them a haircut. Neil Yakura gets creative with some fun things while in the bubble. Plus, Robin Tabeling and Selina Piek remember a momentous win at the Yonex All England Open in 2020. But first, let's get to know the not-so-serious side of this Dutch duo. Hello everyone, this is Robin Tabeling, my great mixed double play pair. Blah, 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 blah. Partner! Partner! <laughs> Cut! Hello everyone, next to me is Robin Tameling, my great mixed doubles partner. And next to me is Selena Peek, who might be a little bit hard to recognize because of her face mask, but it's her. <laughs> oh, and I I don't think I can take that credit because, <laughs> but I don't think he can either. No. <laughs> so, so we will both. It will be, be a draw. A draw, <laughs> a, yeah. a really bad draw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for everyone who's ears. Yeah. Yeah. Are you really sure you the microphone can hold this? <laughs> a little bit of jingle now. Jeez, ah. you're, you're putting me uh, right in front of a. But it's right. This is good television. Okay, um, I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> what should I make of it? It is night. No, I'm not gonna sing a Dutch uh, traditional song. <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, name, name a good song, I'll, I'll sing it for you. Man in the Mirror. <laughs> oh, Jesus, okay. I don't even know the lines. I'm not going to help you because it's way too embarrassing. <laughs> Can you give me a song first? Wonder Roll from Oasis. I had to sing that from uh, in my school and... But then you know the lines, so go ahead. No, 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 it's, it's been asked to you, so I'm... <laughs> this is very entertaining. I just need a song that I feel a little bit comfortable with, you know? Um... Like, uh, that's not too high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today is gonna be the day that I'm gonna throw it back to you. Now okay. Right now, you should have somehow realized what you got to do. I, I don't know. Hey! Thank you. Okay, yeah, we did a good job together. We're a good partnership. <laughs> Robin. I know. I've, I've never snored. Like, never, ever. I hate people who snore because they wake me up. And I, I can't, think I can't sleep been, anymore. No, 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 same for me. And I sleep with airplugs as well. I think we stayed with each other from one night when we played uh, in Brazil. In Brazil, Brazil yeah. yeah. I haven't heard him and I don't think no. you have heard me, so no. it's a draw again. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> wow! Uh, to skydive. A, a, a little part of me is uh, definitely wanting to go, but there's also a huge part of me like, are you really sure? <laughs> it's like, nah. Yeah. Let's get this one. Yeah, but I'm, I'm really going for it one time at least, because I think once you've done it, then the feeling is indescribable. So I have to do it. I think you can take this one then. Yeah. yeah. You can go first. I think I'm attached to my mobile phone. So there's a really, really tiny <laughs> possibility that I might lose it. Like I freak out when I can't find it. Um, yeah, okay, that's so, true. <laughs> so I think we're both really attached to our mobile phones. Yeah. So I think there's a small chance that we might lose it. Like I'm pretty organized, but stuff like that, I, I sometimes do forget, so. Yeah, like I think I'm, I'm more chaotic, but <laughs> really important things, I, I, I don't tend to lose that fast, no, no. Okay. So I, th I think it will be me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think so, yeah. 
I really like this. I, I want to continue with <laughs> yeah, it's fun, it's fun it's questions. It's very funny, yeah. yeah. Good. The All England Open, badminton's oldest tournament, has constantly delivered some of the sport's biggest moments. The 2020 edition witnessed the exit of world number ones and favourites Zhang Siwei and Huang Yachong in the second round at the hands of the most unexpected opponents, Netherlands' Robin Tabeling and Selina Pieck, 22-20-21-17. For the Dutch duo, it instantly became a career highlight. Before the match, um, I think we went into it very freely because we're playing the world's best pair. We had nothing to lose. We had never played them before. Um, of course, seen them play a lot. Um, so I think we went in like, hey, let's go for it. We have nothing to lose. I don't think we expected us to win and to do that well. But somehow in the game, we, we, we felt like, hey, we are into it. Uh, we can battle with him. And, and, and as soon as the, or as fast as the match was going, uh, I grew confidence and was thinking, hey, we actually can beat them. Um, they had a momentum of coming back. I think we got a little bit nervous there, but, but we were very good in closing it down. And, and I think closing the first set was very, very good. I think I had some luck because I, I touched the net at some point. But hey, beating world best pair, I think you need the luck uh, to be on your side as well. And, and that win gave us a lot of confidence. Unfortunately, <laughs> it was the last tournament for a whole year. Yeah. So we didn't really could build up on that confidence. That's a pity, but what you're saying, we showed that we can beat world's best pair. And, and that's something uh, yeah, we need to believe in for every match, I think. Yeah, like Selena said, during the match, we gained a lot of confidence, but when you get to match point, that's a different stage of uh, excitement <laughs> where it's so hard to not look at the score and feel like I'm on match point. And I remember actually it was, uh, I think we, we screwed up like two or three. Wang was serving, she was serving pretty well and they were coming closer and closer, but 17, it's, 19. it's so hard to not focus on the scoreline, but to focus on the game plan when you're playing so good at an amazing tournament and against world's number one. But then when you finish it off, it's just disbelief. And I remember walking off and we, we said to each other, like, this happened, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we did it. Okay, nice, you know, wow. And yeah, that's, uh, that's the main feeling coming up to me now. The highs of victory quickly turned into the lows of defeat as Tabeling and Pieck failed to capitalize on their winning momentum and lost in the very next round, 21-16, 21-19, to Korean sixth seed Seo Seung Jae and Cha Yu Jo. Despite the loss, reaching the All England quarterfinals for the first time was a career milestone and an experience Tabling and Pierre hope to build on for future tournaments. At the Oiland, I think because we, we beat the world best pair, everyone expected us to, to beat or to go through, but I think we played Seo and, uh, and Chai, um, which is also a top four pair, I think. Um, and you can also see them doing very well now, and, and we're still number 16 in the world. So for me, it was not like, oh, we just beat them, now we're going to beat them as well. Because that's not how it works in sport. You can also see like you, your level can differ from day to day. One opponent can, can shoot you better than the other day. And I think actually we, we still played an okay match, but um, yeah, we were not able to, to, to get that win again, and which was of course very disappointing. But on the other hand, if you look at their previous results and at ours, it, it shouldn't have come as a big surprise. But I would have liked to do yeah, better. I mean, I was in the quarterfinal of the All England. Uh, the semi-finals definitely on my wish list, <laughs> yeah. After the conclusion of the All England in March 2020, Tabling and Pieck went back home as restrictions set in across the globe with the COVID-19 pandemic surging. Little did they know then just how long it would take to get back on court competing again. Like most players, they first enjoyed the time off from a fairly grueling schedule, but as weeks turned into months of inaction, Tabling and Pieck just wanted to be back playing badminton. The world number 16s only returned to the tour in October. 
Yeah, during the All England already so much news came out, like lockdown here, uh, measurements and some precautionary uh, rules in, in every country and the spectators were not so there were not so much spectators allowed in England, so we felt something big was coming up and maybe not in the right way for us. Um, but in the first few weeks we just took some time off as it was a crazy year with traveling and playing and training. And So I have to say that we were really calm in the first month. We found our way, we found our rhythm of uh, practicing at home and, and doing stuff we uh, didn't have time for in the, in the previous year. But when the time and the months moved on, it became a little bit more frustrating because the biggest thing you need is perspective and there was none. And after that you need the motivation for training and like I said before, you, you, you gain that out of matches, out of competing and um, going out there and play tournaments, win matches, get that positive feeling, you know. And I think that made it uh, a lot more hard than just that All England to follow up. It, it was, of course I would like to progress on that on that tournament with that confidence but yeah the, the biggest thing for me was I accepted it quite soon that it's going to be a long time but after a while it already felt like a long time and we were three four months up so <laughs> it's time for a short break but on the other side we check in on some random things Neil Yakura did while in the bubble so we're about to do a little in-room workout we've moved the beds Everything to give herself some space. And Praveen Jordan shares the secret behind last year's incredible Yonex All England Open triumph. Saya sih, kalau saya sama Malati lebih ke arah percaya dulu. Dang, you took it like a champ. All right, now we're going for the mm. sandwich de poulet. Mm. I don't know why I'm speaking so much French. It's way faster. From behind, it's kind of good. <laughs> we don't have that. They need to bring this to Canada. Heinz, if you're watching this, bring the chili sauce, apparently. Sponsor us. You know, they don't even need to sell couch ketchup for mother. I use chili sauce for everything. Alright, here we go. Chicken! Not bad. I don't know if it's because we're hungry, but it's not bad. Alright, so we're about to do a little in-room workout. We've moved the beds, everything to give ourselves some space. Luggage is over there. So uh, yeah, enjoy this workout. Yes, I'm in the shower. No, I will not be filming me taking a shower. You little, you little dirty ones. You know who you are. <laughs> but uh, interesting little, little bit here. Um, someone has requested me to give them a haircut. Yes, you heard that right, a haircut, a nice quarantine haircut. 
here in Bangkok in the hotel room. Uh, so enjoy this next bit because this could turn out so bad. Or okay, we'll see. Okay, okay. I like your cut, G. <laughs> and they've done it. Two titles in two weeks for Praveen Jordan and Melati Diva of the Ante. Praveen Jordan. Amilati Diva up to the ante, take the All England title. Pressure sih itu ya di pikiran aku sih aku buang jauh-jauh. Jadi ya tetap fokus, tetap step by step, nggak mikir panjang. Masa nggak mikir panjang entar gimana harus juara segala macam itu, itu sih nggak aku pikirin. Saya silent aja dan orang biar bisa menilai sendiri apa yang saya udah kerjain sama apa yang sudah saya dapat. Keep calm and keep going. That's how Indonesia's top mixed doubles duo are handling the high expectations on them. After sweeping two Super 750 titles in Denmark and France in 2019, and the Yonex All England Open crowned the following year, Praveen Jordan and Melati Daiva Octavianti have propelled themselves as a genuine world-class pair capable of more glory. Badminton Unlimited caught up with the world number fours and asked their thoughts on their partnership as it enters a fourth year. Kita di klub dari kecil udah barengan sama dia. Terus di Cipayung juga udah udah sering latihan bareng. Jadi kurang lebih udah tahu sifatnya gimana, karakternya gimana. Jadi belajarnya dari situ. Dia orangnya itu uh, sangat berambisi. Di dalam lapangan, maksudnya orangnya nggak mau kalah, semangat terus, terus dia juga uh, meng mengemong. Kalau di luar, dia orangnya lebih ke jahil, tapi bukan jahil ke saya. Dia uh, cuek. Ini orangnya disiplin, disiplin terus uh, pekerja keras juga. Dan ya, dia punya motivasi itu sangat dijaga, bagus. Di luar lapangan ya, dia orangnya uh, selalu ceria ya, selalu ceria. <laughs> ya, bawa. Ya kayak kita sering lihat dia ya kayak banyak senyum ya, murah senyum juga gitu. Komunikasi saya sama dia juga bagus gitu. Maksudnya kalau Meli mau ngomong ke saya silahkan, saya ngomong ke dia juga enak gitu. Saling kasih masukan. Di awal-awal tahun kan kita sempet empat kali runner apa ya. Ya di satu sisi sih saya sama Melati juga cuma mikir harus bisa gol buat juara biar uh, kita dapat hawanya yang enak gitu. Di Denmark itu ya mikirnya kita coba, coba lagi, coba lagi, coba terus. Terus juga kita juga belajar dari kekalahan sebelumnya. Oi! Set ke-3, 2019, itu juga angkanya juga sempat kejar-kejaran kan, unggul jauh, terus sempat dibalik lagi, jauh, terus akhirnya game 2019, itu yang rasanya, wah, kayak akhirnya gitu loh, maksudnya bisa bisa tembus, soalnya kan sebelumnya kita udah final 4 kali, dan itu juga kalah terus, gitu. jadi pasti itu. Kita sudah juara di pertandingan Denmark, kita masih ada pertandingan di France. Dan saat saya cuma mikirnya, ya kalau bisa, kita memberikan yang maksimal. Dapat motivasi juga dari dia, maksudnya ayo, maksudnya uh, kalau bisa juara lagi, kenapa enggak? Nah, itu sih yang bikin salah satu jadi kekuatan. Kita mendapatkan hasil dua kali juara itu ya menurut saya sih pantas ya, karena Perjuangan kita juga dari awal, dari Denmark sampai di France setelah juara, memang nggak mudah ya. Tapi kita bisa melalui dengan step by step sih. 
kita buktikan ya maksudnya kita buktikan kalau kita itu bisa menjadi uh, pelapis atau penggantinya Tontowi sama Butet ya dan menurut saya sih ada kesempatan sih buat menjadi penggantinya mereka sih kalau dari diri aku sendiri sih itu aku jadiin buat motivasi gitu nggak terlalu memikirkan pressurenya tapi ya mencoba yang terbaik lah This week, Pravin Jordan and Melati diver Octavianti will return to the Utilita Arena Birmingham to defend their Yonex All England Open title. Their finest accomplishment to date, the Indonesians recall their memorable victory. Di atas podium itu, wah campur aduk, percaya nggak percaya, maksudnya bisa, bisa jadi juara All England gitu kan. Siapa sih, semua atlet pasti mau juara All England kan. Terus itu juga salah satu cita-citaku juga buat jadi juara Lengen. Ya seneng banget lah, udah campur aduk. Gak bisa diungkapkan. Perasaannya sih ya pengen apa ya memberikan hasil yang paling maksimal. Maksudnya jangan sampai keulang kayak apa ya All England 2019. Itu di semifinal kita juga udah mau hampir ngalahin uh, Zeng sama Wang. Ya udahlah maksudnya ya pikiran aku sih itu di pertandingan England selanjutnya. Jangan sampai itu terulang lagi, tapi tetap step by step. Set kedua ya, set kedua kita yang udah sempat unggul ya, sempat unggul terus kita kebalik menjadi kalah dan di set ketiganya juga. Saya udah bilang sama Melati kalau nggak boleh kejadian lagi seperti itu di set ketiga. Jadi kita memang harus e, mencari poin sebanyak-banyaknya buat mencapai 2-1 sih. advantage to Praveen Jordan and Melati Diver Octavianti. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yang paling penting sih harus percaya partner dulu ya. Kita harus saling percaya satu sama lain. Nah, dari situ kita bisa uh, buat melangkah ke step selanjutnya. Bukan yang kita harus mencari mood kita enjoy gitu menurut saya sih kalau saya sama Melati lebih ke arah percaya dulu match point opportunities they've done it on their second match point opportunity Praveen Jordan and Milati Diver Octavianti take the All England title for Praveen Jordan, a second All England title. 
pertama kali saya juara Rolling Room 2016 bersama Debi dan di 2020 saya sama Melati dan saya mendapatkan dua gelar yang berbeda. Di satu sisi saya e, senang juga karena saya bisa membimbing Meli dengan baik ya maksudnya dengan kita lihat hasilnya kita menjadi juara All England gitu. Di situ salah satu kepuasan saya juga buat berpartner dengan Meli. That's all the time that we have, but next week we go big on the Yonex All England Open 2021 for the long-awaited return of Kento Momota and Team Japan, with highlights from the very first round. For the latest news and updates from Birmingham, do go to bwfworldtour.bwfbadminton.com. It's bye-bye for now, and we'll see you next week.